Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Wednesday. This is Gigi. Finally got on the track this week. You know, yesterday it was raining. Uh, Monday, we were getting ready for a parade. And so this is the first day this week I've really gotten out here on the track. I love actually coming out on the track and just breathing in the fresh air and just enjoying nature, actually. Um, but this is the day that the Lord has made, and we're rejoicing, and we're glad in it. A little cooler today, um, but nice. you got to have a jacket on. Um, but I have a gym nugget for today because lately I've been thinking about the power of our words. I, I don't think we realize just how powerful what we say how powerful our words are, even if we say them to ourselves. Not just saying it to other people, but what we say to ourselves. You know, uh, last night I taught the Sunday school lesson, God Reigns, and it talked about, the first verse was um, in Isaiah 52, 7, how beautiful are the feet of those that bring good tidings of good news, that publish peace, that publish salvation, and declare that God reigns. And we discovered that the good news was not just a good message that went out to the other people, but the messenger themselves um, are, are better for giving that good news. And, uh, there was a very interesting comment. I really enjoyed the comment because the person said, yeah, I do. I feel better. I have changed since I have been sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. And I, I was just thinking about that because my gym nugget uh, for today is speak, change, life, and faith. You know, um, one of the one uh, one powerful tool uh, that helps us is speaking affirmations. An affirmation is a positive saying that you can say uh, about yourself. And you know, there's power in those affirmations. You know, Joel three ten says, "Let the weak say that I am strong." And some people have even taken it further. Let the poor say that they are rich. Let the sick say that they are healed. And you know, at one point I'm saying, well, are you telling us to lie about our condition? You know, when you're feeling weak and you're saying you're strong, if you don't have two dimes rubbed together and you're saying you're rich, if you, you're feeling, um, um, sick in your body and the doctors told you that you have a disease are you saying I'm, I'm, I'm healed well it's just a matter no it's not lying it's not wishful thinking guess what it's the power in your words and it's faith you know I think about the ant the ant can carry a hundred times more of its weight and you know, one, one time, it's been many years ago, I witnessed this for myself. I saw a potato chip moving on the floor and I thought I was seeing things. And I looked closer and we had dropped a potato chip on the floor and that ant, one ant was moving a potato chip. I kid you not. Now, how about if someone had put in that ant's mind, oh, you can't do that. You know, you're too little to do that. No, no, the ants are working now in the summer, getting ready for winter, and they can carry. But when you say it, things change, and just the opposite. You know, my, my gym nugget, like I said, is speak change, speak life, and speak faith. Now, if you spoke the opposite, if you speak stagnation, if you speak, no, um, you know, I, I can't change. I, I got to stay the way I am. You're going to stay the way you are. If you speak deaf all the time, things are going to be deaf all around you. If you speak doubt, which is the opposite of faith, you can't go nowhere. You know, 
So we need to speak change. We need to speak life. We need to speak faith. Yeah, I'm not strong right now, but if I keep on speaking it, I can become strong. I can do anything through Christ that strengthens me. If I speak life, just like um, uh, Romans 4, 17, it says, call those things that are not as though they were. You know, it doesn't look what, you know, when you speak things, if you speak it enough, it will manifest into what you say through the power of Jesus Christ. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. You know, I've had many students as over my career, 23 years as a counselor, and uh, some have come back. There's a young lady that's graduated um, this past May, and her, 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 her mom always keeps in touch with me. Um, I was supposed to go to the graduation, but I was out of town. But many students say, you said, Miss Gilmore, that I could do it. And when now I, I see, thank you for telling me that I could do it. That's power. You got to speak it, not just to others, but you need to speak it to yourself. That's why he said, let the weak say I'm strong. And you can go a little further. Let the, the poor say, I am rich. Uh huh. Let the sick say that I am healed. I am well. Do you notice a lot of times, you sometimes maybe you might go to the doctor for maybe a, a routine physical or something like that, and you'll feel fine. But if the doctor gives you those dreaded words, you have cancer or you have this, you actually start feeling bad even though before you probably felt fine. But there's power in those words. You know, I, I think we um, say that people have mental illness too much because if you tell a person that they're, you know, this and that, for a long time, they're going to start believing that, and they'll start acting that. Oh, you, you, you retarded! I hate um, grown folks or adults or parents tell kids, "You're stupid. You'll never do this. You'll never do that," because they internalize that. You just like your mama. You just like your dad, especially if it's in a negative tone. Oh no, you're speaking negativity into that child or into that person. But there's power in your words. My last verse that I like is to speak faith because it says, if you say to the mountain, move from here to there, it will move by faith because you have the faith that's just the size of a mustard seed. You know, those three verses have something in common. Joel 3.10, let the weak say. The power in speaking, call those things that are not calling, you are speaking something, call those things that are not as though they were in Matthew 17, 20 speak to the mountain and it shall be moved, oh I'm telling you there's power in your words so you need to speak change you need to speak life you need to speak faith you know, that's like my hat I love this hat that they gave me you got this. Now, right now, you say, no, I ain't got it. But if you keep speaking it, you will eventually have it. Whatever that got, uh, whatever that this is, you can have it. But if you speak it, you got to speak it. You got to speak change. You have to speak life. And you have to speak faith. Try it and watch things change for you. You know, one of the last things I like to mention, one of the best set of affirmations that I heard was from the movie, The Help. Viola Davis is speaking to her little girl because Viola Davis plays the black nanny and she's taking care of a little white girl. And every day, every day she says to the little girl, 
And this is not good grammar, but this is what she said. You is smart. You is kind. You is important. I love that. We need to say that to ourselves every day. I am smart. I am kind. And yes, I am important. Speak, change, life, and faith. I tell you, it's power, power in what you say. Oh my goodness. I want to thank those of you that joined me for Church School Live. If you missed it last night, it was a powerful lesson about God reigns and how beautiful are the feet of those that carry good tidings of peace and salvation and the fact that God reigns. All right, don't forget, speak, speak it, speak it, speak change, speak life, and speak faith. Y'all be blessed. Bye.